Hello and welcome to the 33rd tutorial in the Cocos 2DJS version 3 series. In this part we're going to show you how to play music. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. Cocos 2DJS provides us with loads of useful functionality to play audio. We will take a look at playing background music, which in a game is used to enhance the gameplay experience and build an atmosphere that feels dynamic and alive to engage the player more. First of all, we need to add our music file to the project. What we're going to do is create a sound folder in the res directory. You can name this whatever you want. You can name it audio, music, but just make sure you know what it's called when you reference it in code. So sound, and now it's going to add our music file into here. We've already got it right here, mainmusic.org. Now you can use obviously other formats as well. If you want a full list of formats that are supported on the various different devices, your um, your best bet is to look at the Cocos 2DX website because they've got a full list of everything that is supported. And now what we need to do is open up our resource.js and what we're going to do now is add our resource. This isn't actually necessary but it's useful as it allows us to use a keyword for accessing a resource and if we need to change the original file we can without modifying the code to load it. AKA we've been using uh, these to add sprites, I think we've just been using close normal and if let's say we wanted to rename the file, we just rename it here and the great thing about that is if we're using this in several places you'll propagate throughout or if we need to change the file we can just keep using the same keyword. So what we're going to do is do main underscore music Make sure you separate them with a comma, there's already one here, but just make sure you do. And we're not going to use folder, as we're not going to have a separate piece of music for the different resolutions, we're just going to have one. This will help save space and there's no need to have multiple as well. So I'm going to do res, forward slash sound, forward slash main music dot org. And then we can save that, we can just close the resource.js, open up app.js and now we're going to play our music file, it's really simple, all you do is cc dot audio engine dot play music and you do res dot main underscore music and now you specify, well the next uh, parameter is specify is whether you want it to repeat or not, so false won't repeat the music file, true obviously will repeat the music file let us just save this, open up our web browser, first of all we need to open up our terminal, cd to our project directory, run our project, ok our music file hasn't played, let's just see if there's any errors, no no errors, so I'm going to guess if, let's just refresh see what happens, nothing, I'm going to guess if I remove the cached files and images and we refresh then it'll be A-OK. -okay. There we go. There we go, you say, okay, now here's another great thing about Cocos TDJS, if you switch tabs, the audio no longer Plane, which is fantastic, which is great from a user experience perspective. So yeah, that's just another t tip. If you're developing for web, just make sure you remove the cached images and files frequently because obviously you're just trying to get old code or old images. And also if you're on a device, just make sure you clean your project regularly or make you'll help you solve errors uh, that otherwise would just mind boggle you be like what the hell is this error about so yeah that's how you play music files in the next part of this series we're going to show you how to stop music files from being played if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video just directly message us via youtube all the recordings for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day